What's going on guys? Video time again. Check it out. No red spray paint on this one. About fucking time. Just black spray paint. They painted the frame black. Yeah, stripping down this 86 here. Needs uh, uh, probably rings and valve seals. Who knows? Smoke like a freight train. Ran good. Engine was quiet. No crazy stuff going on, but never know until you get inside of it. That thing might be smoked. Oil pump could have quit. Never know. But uh, let me get this thing stripped down here. Got a new air compressor. Harbor Freight. Two stage. Uh, I had my little Craftsman set up with a dual tank. It took forever to hit maybe what was it, 160 PSI. This thing here, it holds 100 PSI constantly. I had the blowgun just cranking it, just keeping up. So that's cool because I'm going to start sandblasting some stuff. Um, I got a Tri-Z sitting there. It's been <laughs> supposed to get that thing done like five months ago, but yeah, right. Got a 350. I gotta, I gotta sandblast this frame. I gotta sandblast this frame. I gotta sandblast that frame. I'm gonna go over all the cracks, wall them in. I'm gonna put gussets in every one of these. I got all three of these frames are getting gusset kits. And then uh, I'm gonna get some parts ordered for this Tri-Z. Get this damn thing together already. Then I'm gonna start working on this damn thing. That thing's a wreck. I'll get it all stripped and cleaned up and see what I can do with it. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I got the pilot in here. Let the old lady ride it. She got it all cogged up. Went riding the other day. Run pretty good. She said it was all over the goddamn place. Had too much power for it. It was just sliding out. She was freaking out. I was like, well, I don't know why you're freaking. You got four-point seat belts. You know, and you got your hand straps. But, I don't know, it runs pretty good. I took it for a ride today. Ran pretty good. Really haven't rode it too much. And, uh, yeah, this thing's still sitting. That's 600 of all this plastic, I just keep stacking it up. I got uh, TRX 250R86 plastic, the OEM. I got uh, 250SX plastic, 400EX, and 84 250R OEMs. And there's 350X plastic there. It's getting out of control. I got them inverts on there. I would really like to get this thing done, but it's an, I fucking ordered a clutch basket for it. Because this motor didn't, I didn't have it. And... I lost the goddamn collar that goes inside there. It's here somewhere, but good luck. So I'm going to have to order one on eBay. And see what happens with that. Really haven't had too much time to work on any of my own stuff here. i got customer squads coming in and out. i got this damn thing. This big bear. It's blown up. Or the top ends of it anyway. So i got to fix that. i got 450 YFC motor my buddies. He uh, blew the crank out of it, I think. I'm not real sure. i got to rip that apart. See what's up with that. Probably do some port work on that head. He, uh, huh. Yeah, if I can even save this head. There's a freeze plug in here. If you can see it right there. Stripped it out. He thought it was a head, like a head bolt. He twisted the freeze plug right out of it. Took the threads out with it. So i got to see about that. Yeah, I'm starting to pile up all this shit. I'm going to start sandblasting. As soon as the weather starts to quit raining here, because it's an outside blaster, so see what happens with that. Yeah, I intend to uh, do this frame up red. This here is an 86, so it's a little bit different motor wise, anyway. Looks like it's been leaking some pretty good oil. Looks like it might need valve cover gaskets on it or the o rings. Yeah, everything worked on it. It's not too bad. Need some uh, axle bearings. And I've never seen... I don't know what the hell this is. They have a tube coming off. Run under the bowl here. We can see it. Right here, it comes out from here. I'm not even sure what the hell this is. And it went up into the intake, which... There's like a little nipple on here. Looks like a power jet. See how it goes up in? So I don't know what the hell is going on there. I don't know. Got some fancy shit going on here. I'm not too familiar with uh, carb modifications. I just upgraded the carbs to a bigger carburetor. 
you know, and rejet accordingly. But when you start doing these power jets and get them electron carbs, they got the power jet in them. Yeah, I got everything separated here. Yeah, I'm doing a couple tanks right now. I have uh, four metal tanks, two up there, one down there, and I have one outside. And I'm doing the apple cider vinegar with the ball bearings inside to get all the rust out. I plan on to uh, paint them up, try to bring them back to original because they're getting really hard to find cheap. I have a fuckload of them, so might as well use them. But yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Figured I'd do a video. You know how it is. Catch you guys later.